There is a, a wonderful program, a coordinated program with uh, IUP, Indiana Area School District, and the federal government to bring international teachers here to America to experience uh, education from our angle. And uh, this is on Facebook Live again, we'll tell you. And we'll meet two more of our teachers, and uh, I'll ask you to, to reintroduce yourselves and tell us where you're from. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jerry Owori from uh, Kenya. And in salutation, we usually say uh, Jumbo. That's a Swahili salutation. Uh, I am a high school teacher. I've been teaching for the last uh, six years in the northern part of Kenya, which is uh, semi-arid, although uh, uh, urban. Uh, we draw students from across uh, the country. It is a national school, and therefore... Uh, students uh, learning in my school are actually from across the whole nation uh, of a population of about uh, 700 um, uh, students. Uh, I teach biology and uh, agriculture. And apart from that, a lover of drama. I train drama and I like it so much. Um, apart from that, uh, 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 it is my first time to be here in the United States of America and outside uh, Africa. I must say it is a very, very good uh, opportunity that we have been granted uh, by the State Department to be here. Uh, it is a good uh, learning opportunity that we have been uh, given. Uh, we are having actually a world perspective, America having uh, a very high advancement in terms of uh, technology. We are learning uh, how to use some of these uh, technology tools so that we can be able to uh, actually transfer the same knowledge back to our countries. Uh, I like being here in Indiana. I must say I, w I am a lucky person and my fellow uh, 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 ILEPAS to have been brought to IUP. Uh, the Indiana community are very, very warm people. You meet somebody in a supermarket and the first thing you, uh, you get is uh, actually a smile and that is so welcoming. Uh, apart from that, we have uh, had a lot of support from our um, uh, coordinators, uh, Dr. Petrushi and Dr. Lara. The entire team at IUP coordinating this program, we are very, very indebted to them. Uh, the Indiana High School uh, District, very, very cooperative teachers, very friendly, and uh, we have been able to uh, share a lot within the short period we have been here. We are almost moving out of uh, Indiana High School, and I feel like we are going to miss the place because you're now shifting to Brashear. Thank mm. you. I'm, I'm interesting the breadth of teaching experiences that you have, biology, agriculture, and you also have an interest in drama. Yes. Jo Josh is an actor here ah, with our local great. theater I'm also an actor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, it, it's just fascinating to me that um, that you have that that depth of, of yes. teaching experience. Uh, yeah. When you come to here to Indiana, obviously the agricultural season is not at its peak of the yeah. farming, uh, but uh, do you have the opportunity to uh, to learn about agriculture here as opposed to, uh, the, Indiana isn't exactly semi-arid as, as you <laughs> describe your country. Yes. Uh, uh, I must say that um, uh, back in Kenya, we usually have the teachers are trained to teach two subjects apart from English. All the other teachers are taught to have a second, uh, are trained to have a second uh, subject. So my main, my major is actually biology. Mm -hmm. Then I minored in uh, agriculture, although it's very, very, very practical, and I do a lot of uh, uh, farming. I've not had an opportunity to see farming going on around Indiana, but I must say I'm very grateful to my partner teacher, Mr. Wari. Uh, he was able to take me through a certain farm that does grocery from the east. With the, the, uh, there is a certain park uh, down here. I can't remember the name. Uh, I was passed through a certain farm and he showed me some grocery uh, oh, farming okay. uh, taking place. And I'm very, very uh, happy to have seen that. Uh, uh, drama is passion. Uh, I've not been trained to actually train drama, but I find it uh, uh, very interesting to come down to the learners and uh, be able to nurture the young talents. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
Let's meet another of our teachers uh, here for this wonderful program from Brazil. Yeah, hello everyone. I'm Eliza. I'm from Brazil. I'm um, an English teacher. English is my first love since I was a little kid. And then it became a profession. So I started teaching English as a second language. And from two years ago, until now, I started teaching Spanish, and I also have a dance group in Brazil because we are dancing everywhere. And my, yeah, my <laughs> fellows here can tell that because I still dance here, and people stare at me on the streets. And then I notice that I'm not in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it took? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to know that you were not in Brazil. Yeah, just that time, and I start dancing. <laughs> but here we are having a lifetime experience, and. And not, not just education, but we have a culture um, exchange. So it, uh, we are going to churches. We have host families. And my social life is busy. <laughs> so uh, I am really glad to be here. Indiana community is lovely. And everybody asks me, what do I, look, what do I like most here in the States? And then I started thinking, oh, my God, I love so many things around here. But the most is people. I love people here. I love American culture. Brazilians are fans of the United States. So this is a dream come true. Oh, it's so good to have you here. And, and it's fascinating to me what you say about, um, you know, we here and the Olympics having just been a couple of years ago. And exactly. we, we got a chance to see some of the Brazilian culture. Uh, it, it's interesting to me how you can compare that to the American culture and the way that we express ourselves here yeah. uh, and within the family because uh, you've brought up something that um, that we haven't been able to speak with others about and, and yeah. that is the fact that you have host families yeah. with whom you stay exactly yeah tell me about uh, meeting them and and living with them for a, a couple of weeks yeah um, in fact we don't live with them we live in the university towers oh, I see. but we have fam uh, host families because we can have dinner with them and we can go out see a little bit more of American culture and how a family um, is here mm -hmm. so my family is um, they are musicians and yeah. I love music so um, this Monday for example I went for dinner with them and uh, they asked me to bring a CD with Brazilian song. So I had that collection. I explained Brazil c culture in general, but I also explained my regions because Brazil is huge. We have 26 states and a federal district, and each region has its own culture. So I am here to represent not just my country, but also my region. Well, it's wonderful to have you. Thank, Thank you for you. sharing your experiences with us. We also have some educators from Indiana Senior High, uh, and we want to talk with both of them because of the opportunity to um, meet with and work with um, these wonderful international teachers um, has to be a thrill for both of you. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Um, so reintroduce yourself so folks know who we're, who's speaking. Yeah, I'm Jim Dykin. I'm the uh, Senior High French teacher at Indiana High School. And Melinda Osterling, math teacher at, sen at the senior high school. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell me about um, meeting these folks and working with them in these last several weeks and what it's been like for you from a teacher's perspective. Yeah, so this is my third year working with ILEP. Um, as a language teacher, I think maybe I have a different perspective because I spend pretty much all my waking hours doing a sort of cultural exchange and trying to promote cultural exchange. So I know I remember a few years ago when Wade came and asked me if I'd be interested. Uh, I was extremely excited to have the opportunity. I've been lucky enough to have in each of my years an ILEP fellow who's worked with me in my classroom who comes from a French-speaking country. Uh, this year I'm hosting uh, a teacher from Morocco. Uh, last year I hosted a teacher from Senegal. So we've had a chance to bring them into the classroom, uh, let them teach my students about their, their native culture, their native language, uh, in a way that's really authentic. I know that um, you know they come here with this idea that we're going to teach them, uh, and we do, but I think we learn as much from them as, as they learn from us, and it really is a great opportunity for us to share with one another. And sometimes I think I look around and I see all of the ILEP fellows from, from Brazil and from North Africa and from West Africa and from the Philippines and, and from other places in Southeast Asia. And I think what an opportunity we have here in, in, in our small town of Indiana to have so many people coming together from all over the world, you know, to, that we can share uh, these opportunities with our students because we don't often have uh, opportunities like that in Indiana to to share such a cultural, rich cultural uh, exchange with yeah. people from all over. So it really is, and I hope it continues. I, I look forward to continuing to working with the ILEP program. 
uh, just because it has been such a great opportunity. And my students, um, they are so excited every week, uh, every year. They ask, when are they coming? When are they coming? Every every Wednesday, they get excited to uh, to see them and learn from them and meet with them and talk with them. So, If I were a foreign language teacher and people who speak that native that is their native tongue, I would be so intimidated. <laughs> I, would be, I, mean, I can't even speak English, let alone. And, and that's You're doing a, all right. That's supposedly my native tongue. Melinda, what about you and uh, your perspective? Well, this is my first year uh, of hosting an ILEP fellow, and unlike Jim, who uh, brings culture into his classroom all the time, I found that math teachers, they like to talk about math. And uh, But this was an interesting experience for me because it was really, really valuable. Uh, I, I went in and, and tried to be very open-minded about it, and I am so thankful that I agreed to host because uh, I'm working with May from the Philippines, and she has brought energy and excitement and really an interesting uh, perspective on her culture and how math is taught in her home country. So just as they are learning from us, we are learning an awful lot uh, from other people too. So I've been very grateful that that, that she's come in and been so welcoming and so open uh, to talk about all of her experiences as well as asking me questions about my experiences here in the United States. Drawing on my experience as a dad, and when my son was in elementary school, and I could actually do the math with him because once he got to the high school level, forget it, um, is, the, is there a great difference in, in the way that you're learning they teach it in the Philippines as opposed to the way that you teach it? Because many folks would say, numbers are numbers. Well, and I think that is nice that uh, math seems to be more of an international language that we can you know, all relate, even if the language barrier exists. But I've noticed just from May working with my students, she comes in and she can help with with any of the material mm. that we're talking about. Once in a while, we have a little bit of a maybe a vocabulary issue. But other than that, uh, she walks right in and is very, very open and very eager to assist any of my students. So I think that has been a nice commonality where we don't have the language uh, commonality of maybe French. We have the math language that yeah. has connected us. Well, tremendous. Thank you for coming in. Thank you to all of you for coming and visiting with us today. We appreciate it so much. We look forward to this visit every year and hope that we can continue that's your, your jobs, okay? Let's work on that. Make sure that keeps happening. Thank you all for coming in. It is Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank here on WCCS AM 1160, FM 101.1.